Hi, I'm martial arts master Bill Fitzpatrick welcoming you to lesson one of the Master Small Business Course, Identifying the Special You. The action principles are based on a simple philosophy of self-improvement and service to others. Self-improvement, well, you're thinking every day, how can I be a better mother, father, sister, brother? And when we're talking about business, this means, how can I do a better job? How can I be of service to others? How can I be a better employer or employee? How can I better serve my customers? Now, this isn't a game. This isn't lip service. To succeed, this must be who you are inside. But when you are this type of caring, action-oriented person, you know what's going to happen? Business, customers, promotions are going to start gravitating towards you. You're going to be the type of person that other people want to be associated with. Now what I'm about to say is very important. Business really isn't that complicated. There are three simple rules that you have to follow to be successful. Rule number one, offer a quality product or service that the market demands and charge a fair price. Number two, appreciate your customer. Say thank you and then ask that satisfied customer for more business. And rule number three, copy success. Find the leaders in your industry the people who are, are doing or have done what it is that you now want to do and then do what they're doing. These are three simple rules to apply to all businesses, whether you're in construction, you're in sports, medicine, art, music, retail, doesn't matter. So if the type of business doesn't matter because you can become successful at any business, well, what you should be thinking is, hey, then I should choose a business that I love doing. Yes, you're going to be taking charge of your own career. You're not people who are just reading the one ads and, oh, oh, hoping. You're not going to some random job site on the internet with thousands of others and nervously hoping that some employer will offer you something. No, when you complete the Master Success program, you're going to learn how to become a master of success, someone who can take charge. So it's going to be you who's deciding what's best for you and your family. In each lesson in this course, I'm going to illustrate the principles to be learned by means of little stories. The object will be for you to identify with each character. In effect, you're going to become that character. If you were this person, how would you react to the situations that you're put in? What would you do? Through this process, you're learning how to become a master of success in business. Believe me, 90% of what you need to learn is going to be style, and attitude. This is what you're going to learn in the Master Success Program. A winner's style and attitude. In this first lesson we meet a fellow by the name of George. George works for a local bus company and he's a very conscientious bus driver. He, he says hello to the passengers. He, he keeps his bus clean. We also meet another character, Louie, a bus driver who's just going through the motions. So you have one hard-working bus driver and one bus driver who frankly doesn't give a damn. Yet because George and Louie are both members of the same union, they make exactly the same pay. Well, in our story, a promotion comes along. And because it's Louie who has the connections, he gets the promotion over George. 
Is this unfair? Yeah, it is. Is this the kind of thing that happens every day? Yes, it is. But George just doesn't sit around sulking. Win or lose, George decides that he wants to control his own future. He's thinking, I have one life. I can create a business for myself. I can be the boss. George realizes, and he thinks quite correctly, you know, the bus company is never going to pay me $40 an hour, even if I work twice as hard and my performance is twice as good as average bus drivers. That's a contract, so, a union contract, so it ain't going to happen. What George thinks is, what I can do is a lot of different things in the transportation industry. I can do a lot for myself and for my family, so you've got to start the process going. Research, think. Well, here's really a radical idea. Drive a cab. Do you know that as a cab driver you can make seventy or eighty thousand dollars a year? That's the potential for a cab driver who gets out there and hustles every day. Yes, the average salary for a lawyer and the salary for a good cab driver can be about the same. So George thinks, well, I can do a lot better <laughs> driving a cab. Or, as he starts thinking, and he starts researching, and he starts learning. He quickly finds that there are many different entrepreneurial ways that he can rise above the average. George isn't thinking, I'm just a bus driver. No, he researches and he finds many different jobs that can make him a lot of money. Go on, do your research. There are people in the transportation business who make $20,000 a year. And there are people in the transportation industry who make $200,000 and more a year. George looked at these two things and says, hey, I want to be, I want to be in the big box. Why not me? You see, George is not just a bus driver. He's someone with the right master of success style and attitude. He is a thinking person of action. So in this first lesson, we see George starting his own local transportation company. You'll see all of these ideas that George has for his future. Well, what are you learning? Learning, thinking, putting yourself in George's place. The other characters in the stories, in the courses. What are these characters teaching you that you can apply to your own life? To me, this is a wonderful, exciting adventure that we are about to take together. You can make the choice. You can become a successful entrepreneur. You can make the choice and say, yeah, why not me? I want to become a master of success. Well, follow your action principles. Take your 20 minutes of quiet time each day and think. Think, hey, why not me?